I created a cardboard Rubik's cube or puzzle cube. How I made the cube out of cardboard was to start with, I created a central piece, which you then connect everything to it. So you create like a cardboard center piece like this. And what then what you need to do is basically create some kind of hinging, turning section that goes on each of these ends. The way I did that was putting a section like that on so it just rolls around. And then that is connected with a, a washer on to the end of this section here. So then you can create a, like a washer that allows this to rotate and then just cover it up with a a nice clean piece. So with the cube you basically have two three shapes. You have a corner shape and you have sort of a middle section like this and obviously the, the center pieces. And you can do this in various ways. This is the profile that I came up with. So basically the way it works you've got the cube on the outside then internal workings. If you imagine you've got a, a sphere within the cube itself it's kind of all rotating around in every direction upon itself. Uh, so you need to try and create a circle on each plane that the, uh, the cube can actually run around on itself. So that is the basics of it. And then you can just clip it all together like you would a normal Rubik's cube or a puzzle cube. Why the puzzle cube? There's nearly an endless number of ways to solve a Rubik's Cube. With the right mindset, the right skills, the strategy and focus on the end goal. You can work through it. Creating packaging with action point is like that. That's what our team is for. A quote by Luke Pollard, the Managing Director.